of the wine I'd make you turn mind if I just had the time Yeah, yeah. Well, bounty a plenty of broad may mine But now I suffer the sands of time Yeah, yeah. We sail the in, we sail the out We sail from death with a furless shout Yeah, yeah. In all the tales they told to me, the river still fights to its sea. And we all go down to the ten man's cove. Yar! Yar! Good afternoon, good day, good evening. Hello to everyone wherever and whenever you are. I am Ryan Wynn, captain of the comic ship, and I am here with my first mate, my co-host, John Hervey. Arg! There we go. How you doing, yeah. John? Doing well, brother. How about you? How's... So you got the internet working now, man. Yes, sir. Um, normally, I, I take a lot of pride in making mistakes and admitting to those mistakes. But uh, today, we really just had no connection to the to the Wi-Fi. We just we couldn't make it happen. Uh, but we're here now, and hopefully, we still have some friends because we'd like to talk to our guests here that we've uh, we'd, oh, we'd like to welcome yeah. aboard. Edwin Acevedo of yes. the Ace. Hey guys, Edwin. Edwin. Welcome. How you doing, Edwin? I'm doing great, man. Today's been a really uh, fun kind of wild day. It looks like we are officially funded. So thank you to everybody out there. It that is so like cool, it. man. Congratulations, brother. Thank you, man. Great looking look book. We're going to see more of it today. That's right. We've got 97 backers. You guys are at, uh, man, you're at 100%. You're right there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and share screen so people can be looking. And then we're going to get to know you a little bit. Edwin, because uh, we got a lot of viewers that may not be familiar with you, and I want them to get to know you and the product. Awesome. So we're going to hop right into it, folks. I, I do apologize to everyone that was waiting and here on time. Uh, thank you guys so much for showing up week in and week out. Uh, this has been a rough start uh, to our show. We've had some technical difficulties. Usually, usually it's my end. Um, but you know what? I forgot to share audio, so we're going we're gonna to do that really quick. Because well, it looks like you caught it, you caught it before you played. So there we go. Yeah, yeah, that's one step up in the professional ladder. <laughs> and the ace. Uh, so hey, Edwin, uh, who yes. are you? Uh, me, I'm a longtime comic book fan. You know, I grew up on uh, early '90s comics. Basically, uh, you know, X Men, Spider Man. Uh, those were like my two biggest ones. And I have been collecting. I moved on to DC Comics uh, as I got a little older. So I've been basically collecting most of my my known life. And now you want to create. Yeah. And, you know, actually, when I was younger, I actually wanted to be an artist. I actually, uh, you know, had dreams of, you know, going to like the Kubert School and kind of, you know, mm. joining the Marvel bullpen and all that fun stuff. Uh, but, you know, sadly, uh, my artistic talent was, was not much. <laughs> so, uh, you know. That kind of dream went away shortly after uh, I graduated high school. And, you know, thanks to uh, to Comicsgate and everyone, this kind of indie movement, you know, it's, it's kind of opened up new doors and new opportunities. You know, I've always been someone who, who's written little stories and ideas for stuff, even if I had no real outlet for them. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's kind of easy for me to kind of write a story and, and to come up with different ideas. I, I, get, I can get into it, you know. So, yeah, this is really... Uh, it's been a, a really fun process to kind of get back to those roots when I when I was younger and, and creating my own kind of knockoff characters. Now I get to create something and kind of bring it to life. And there's nobody really in my way stopping me or kind of like being editorial or hanging over my shoulder. You can kind of tell the story I want to tell how I want to tell it, which is pretty amazing. There you Absolutely. Go. And uh, I like the sound of this story. The Ace, Volume 1, a young man looking for purpose, discovers the remains of a shooting star changing his life forever. Uh, great yeah, tagline. That's, that's the main kind of idea, you know. We you know, we, we do like to show a lot of the big, fantastic stuff. We got this guy in alien armor fighting this giant bounty hunter shark. But, you know, there's also some, like, heart to the story. You know, in the end, the story is about David, David Diaz. Uh, he just turned 21 years old. He, he left college. Uh, he's just looking to find his purpose in life. He feels there's more out there for him. You know, he's had some rough stuff happen to him growing up, and he's he's at a point where he, where he wants more out of life, but he kind of doesn't know kind of where to go, where to turn, you know. And then one day he finds the the remains of the shooting star and then grants him the ability to transform into this armored being, which he calls the ace. And kind of six months later, you know, he, he's kind of just hanging out, and Akula shows up at his front door. 
and that moment kind of changes everything. Uh, who and who is Akula? Uh, Kula is the giant shark guy right there. Ah, oh, yeah. yeah, I love this. <laughs> yeah, he's awesome. Yeah, people love him, man. Every time I show anything from him, people are just like they always comment. <laughs> so man, Akula's it. putting that spear under the ace's armor, man. Yeah, man, he's no joke. Yeah. He's uh, it's digging in there. Ooh. Um, now, uh, is this armor going to protect him, or do we need to back the book to find out? Yeah, you got to back the book, man. See, see where it goes. <laughs> the great thing about that cover by Donald is that it, it really captures the book, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, if, mm -hmm. if you just needed one image to be like, hey, I got like, you know, 20 seconds. Uh, show, show me something from the ace. I'll show him the cover. He'll be like, that's it, man. That's what the book's about. <laughs> No, that's all you need, and that's one of the things uh, we like to recommend to people on here, and you don't need many recommendations. The the campaign looks great, the project looks great, and the campaign page looks great. That's right. Um, yeah, usually I'm, I'm looking at people's page, and I'm like, ah, your, your opening image, it it's not capturing the awesomeness of your project, but uh, bro, you nailed it here. And yeah, then this- that, that grabs the that grabs our attention immediately. I was like, whoa, <laughs> what is, nice, what's going on here? Yeah. I have some of this. Like, why don't we have this book yet? Um, <laughs> that's what I was wondering. Uh, do we want to play the video, fellas? People out in TV land, do you want to see the video? Uh, yes, I would highly recommend the Red Gaze. Completely amazing trailer. Anybody needs a trailer, hit them up. It does great work. All right, let's see what Red Gaze has done for the ace. Oh, that costume. Great trailer, man. Awesome. That's excellent. Awesome stuff. Um, yes, that was done by Red Gaze, you said. Uh, and Red Gaze has done a lot of a lot of trailers for people, a lot of really yeah. sharp looking things. Yeah, right? guy, yeah. Guy's good, man. And like I said, he, he captures the a great tone, like the music and everything, the atmosphere, everything really mm -hmm. just works exactly how, how I wanted it to. So So what's the deal with this book? Uh, and that by that I mean the, the physical book, how many pages, how many issues, what are we looking at? Uh, this is a 32 page book, uh, 28 pages of story. You also have a fine art section. Uh, the ACE is meant to be an ongoing, the, you know, my, my kind of dream and goal is to put out one of these a year and just kind of keep turning them out and, you know, have like a very long kind of, you know, arc for, for each other characters and stories. But, you know, I want to make sure people get like their money's worth for each volume. So, you know, heck yeah. Kind of well, it looks like it. you're doing that. You're packing the book full of not only awesome characters, but you've got a great creative team as well. You yeah, want to go over do. the creative team? Yeah. Uh, the cover is by uh, Donald DeLay and Theo Gonzalez. They're the team behind Brutus. So it's a great cover right there. Donald did a tremendous job. Like I said, he captured the essence of a cool and everything going on perfectly. Beautiful colors by Theo Gonzalez. So. Exactly. Yeah. I love, I mean, it's a perfect pairing, I think. 
Yeah. Um, so then uh, the main story in the book is done by, by Canales. He's done Iron Sights, Abductables, tons of like yep. uh, books. And, uh, you know, this is one of the few, I think only the second one where you actually see him uh, get colored by. You know, Theo Gonzalez also does the colors for this. And I think they 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 blend perfectly together. You know, I was trying out different colorists because, because you know, he, he does a lot. Canales mostly does like black and white or gray tones. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we were thinking like, hey, if we can't find the right guy, we'll just do the gray tones and stuff. There's no like, but then the, Theo sent me like one page as like a test page. And I was like, wow, you get it. You, you kind of get exactly what, what I'm kind of going for here. And yeah, like I said, got the colors you, to work well, man. Looks really yeah, like good. They, they blend perfectly. You get to see like, you know, I love Canales' expressions on characters and stuff. So with yeah. the colors on top of it, it just takes it to another level. So really uh, yeah. happy how everything turned out. Yeah, I haven't seen him in color before. This is the first project I saw his work in color. And it's one of those things, too, that if you told me beforehand, you're like, oh, we're hiring him and we're going to use, uh, you know, we're going to color him. I'd be, I probably would have thought, oh, that might look weird because his work, there's something about it in black and white. Yeah. But these colors are perfect over this. Um, and now I'm like, oh, why is he always in black and white? Why doesn't he always have this guy? <laughs> <laughs> All you need yeah. is the right colors, right? Yeah, well, you got to find the right guy. Like with everything, you know, it has to be the right person. That's right. No, it's the right type of like rendering. It's the right color choices. Um, and I don't think this book could have been black and white. I think with your superhero fandom as a background and what you're trying to create with the comic, I think you need color for this bad yeah. boy. And I think you Definitely, chose... Uh, takes it up a notch, you know? Like when I, when I see some of the pages that I was getting back from Theo... Because you know, I love the stuff Canales did, you know, just on the, the black and white. It was beautiful. But then when you see it colored, man, it just like, you see like that ship and everything. Like the, mm -hmm. the actual design of it was beautiful. But then you see it get colored on top of it. And you're like, wow, this this gives it a whole nother kind of like level to it, you know? It's yeah, like, it's like great, a great ship. Yeah, Canales, really man, he's, he's, he's so good. Like I just gave him like a short description, like what I was looking for. I wasn't looking for like a traditional kind of like, spaceship or anything you know i kind of wanted something that was a little kind of more funky and kind of weird and he just came up with that man it blew me away i was like now who designed the ace did he help design the ace as well uh, yeah the ace was created by uh another artist that's on the book swings from oddity okay he came up with the initial design yep. and canales did tweak and kind of slim down some of the the features but the original design was basically all done by swings oh, i'd right actually on. gotten uh canales took a i actually commissioned him to do a pinup back in the day before I was even thinking about making it a book. And I just loved like his take on it. Like I just love like the, the extended, like uh kind of shoulder armor thing. Mm -hmm. And the, the way he kind of give it a little, like the, uh, the little kind of uh, extra kind of like little, I don't even know what you'd call them, but on the mask there, if you see them, they're like yeah, a little lower. Yeah. Like oh, right these guys here. Yeah. 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 That, that part, I just thought, Oh, that's really cool. Like, so yeah, he he kind it's of like uh, <laughs> yeah, sleek the design a bit. So yeah, I like it. Yeah, it's um, it, it's one of those designs. Uh, as soon as you said some of your influences, I was like, awesome. He's he's honed his influences into his own character, um, and it, much like uh, I see that with uh, Nat with the uh, Tales from the Natverse, mm, yeah. where, yes. where Sim took, he, he didn't make his own, or he did make his own Lobo, but it's not just a Lobo knockoff. It, he took the things that he loved, the things that spoke to him about certain characters and created his own character with those. And I feel like that's what the ace is as well. Yeah. That it's just this like, like all the things that, that Edwin and company loved and they're, they're honing it into this, amazing design i this is one of my i as soon as i saw this before i knew who you were i think it was maybe six eight months ago maybe even a year ago now that i've maybe even longer i don't know how long i've known any of you guys now but as soon <laughs> as i saw this design come up with in your avatar when you started promoting the ace and stuff i was like whatever this is i'm in yeah it's hot uh, yeah um and are these these are pages by sweens who's the artist yep. on oddity yeah he, he does the an epilogue story that's in the book uh so he he does the pencils and colors for his, his own work and it's really beautiful stuff anybody who's seen pages from oddity this beautiful book but this is like a whole other kind of st style that he does it's really i think pretty amazing like uh the colors and everything are really 
make it pop. And, and like I said, the epilogue story is a little different from like the main story. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a bit of a mystery piece. It's not as linear. You know, the, the, like the main story is very linear. You kind of go through steps. This one kind of jumps around a bit. But it's meant to be like a bit of a mystery piece. You know, kind of the more, the more kind of uh, issues of it that you do, you really start seeing that the whole story come together. And then eventually it'll cross over into the main, uh, the main story. And then it gets really fun. Okay. Uh, how long, I guess, I guess like how long do you think it'll be down the road before they start to like cross uh, the story arcs start to cross? It'll, it'll kind of depend on how, how the book does. You know, if I, like I said, if I'm getting them out one a year, then it should be pretty quickly, but you know, yeah. if it slows down then I might have to like tweak some things, you know, now will uh, cool. will like will Sweens be uh, the continuing the, that storyline, or will it be a different artist each issue? No, nope, uh, he he's he's agreed to like jump on board for for these. Nice. Uh, you know, he he is doing his own book, but the thing about the epilogue is not that many pages, so he's able to kind of fit it in. You know, okay. you know all the regular work. So it is cool. I'm familiar with uh, with Oddity. I, I backed Oddity. Uh, been kind of friends with uh, Indie Dave online for years and years and years. So so that was a no brainer for me, but it's been great watching Sween's uh, kind of uh, grow as an art, not kind of grow, but actually grow as an artist. I've noticed in the last year or two. Um, and I always comment to them that uh, their black placement, their panel layouts, everything is getting sharper and looking better and better. Like every couple pages on Oddity looks, looks a little sharper, a little more pro. Yeah, yeah the um, last couple ones he posted on his Twitter have been amazing. Like. I know he's getting close to the the final stretch, so uh, you know he he he's still delivering like the great quality in all those pages. Yeah, so it's great to see someone like who already started off good, but watching him grow and then seeing him do something like this, where this is pure sci-fi action. Different. I mean, the colors. This is not oddity at all. No, it's completely different, which is great to see. Yeah, like, the range. This is such a great shot. Uh, I love seeing robots get theirs. Yes. Yeah, it's gotta hurt, except for it's a robot, so it doesn't really hurt. I don't know, maybe it's programmed to feel pain. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a bummer, zero, one, zero. One. Um, and then here we've got, uh, let's see, some panels by the Howl comic. Yeah, this is uh, the four page uh, Angelique storyline, uh, origin, I should say. Uh, yeah, this is completely different kind of style, you know, that I was going for. Uh, uh, this kind of, I call it a bit of like a dark, like fairy tale almost. Uh, mm -hmm. the way we introduce her origin and you know we were looking for something because she's going to be the main antagonist for uh issue two volume two so we kind of wanted a way to introduce her in and i thought like the the, the origin story kind of fit and how gives it like a beautiful touch he does the colors and pencils for this he did uh work on the lost pages masquerade story oh yeah just, okay yeah, so just guys that's where i've seen this yeah yeah so. Um, no, did, now who did the design on this? I'm always asking the designs because yeah. I'm curious. Uh, he did for that one. The the design for Angelique is actually done by uh, uh, Chris Oak. Uh, oh, okay. So, yeah, so he did like the the her look, but yeah, he he helped create this other angelic like being. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, I like that all the characters like they look like they're from the same world, but they all have very unique designs. So I didn't know yeah. if one person had kind of overseen all of that, or maybe it's kind of you overseeing everything. Yeah, it's of... like you know, I kind of reach out to like different uh, artists. Like uh, I had a uh, Simon uh, Bennett actually help me design a cooler, even though like the final design is different from you know like the final one that Canales again he kind of sleeked it and gave it his own twist, but he he kind of came up with the 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 original kind of design that kind of most people played off like Donald's is kind of a little bit closer to to that I guess you'd, you'd say for to the original kind of like character design. <laughs> 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 yes, hell the chat, Pagino, Pedro, Diablo, Jay Lee. I'm catching up on everybody. Housel says, "Hey all, I'm digging the ace." Thank you, Lord. Yeah, this is hot, and and like uh, like Ryan was saying, I like the fact that. You know, you're able to. It, it brings a nice variety that you're able to get to bring in kind of the different looks and feels. So it doesn't feel like even like like Ryan was saying, even though it's in the same universe, it doesn't feel like it's all the same design. You know, and that, mm -hmm. that can sometimes be a challenge. Yeah, I like to I always like to let the artists kind of play, and I think you get like the the best work if they can kind of 
you know, play around with it and mold it a bit. It feels a little more, uh, I think they get a little more into it. So, you know, as long as kind of, it captures the main essence, you know, especially when you're starting to just build something like this, you know, I say go nuts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, good world. job on that. Yeah, yeah. Um, so let's keep scrolling through here. I'm having a, I, I love this art style. And I think the three of them together in an issue is going to be really fun. Um, there's no, they're not like drastic enough where it's like, oh, one will throw you off, but they each have like their own flavor and their own style that, that, uh, like you said, this artist, it's perfect for this type of fantasy story. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, and man, I really love it. It's kind of got a, like a Jeff Smith vibe. Um, there you go. Yeah. You know, a little bit of bone. A little bone. Uh, yeah. Yes, yeah. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> um, which I hope I, I always feel bad. Like, uh, if I'm comparing an artist to another artist, if that's like someone they hate or something, <laughs> they're like, oh, I say that guy, I hate that guy. And, uh, so we've got some additional tiers here. We've got some other, uh, oh man, some great prints. So we've got yeah, Mike McMahon uh, of US Comic Sass size print by uh, Mike McMahon, colors by Simon Sympothier. Uh, yeah, so that's going to be, uh, you can get that in the campaign. It's complete like, Mike's got like a classic, like a 90s style and stuff. I love like this print. It's got like him destroying all these like Android robots and stuff. Yeah, the layers. All the are fire great. and everything. Yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's layers of robots. And uh, that's a fun team up of uh, Mike and Sim. Yeah. So I mean, have we have we looked at a campaign that hasn't had Sim touch it? <laughs> you know, if he didn't touch the campaign, he did fan art for it. Yeah, yeah, he is. He didn't do anything on mine, but he did. He did a wonderful Hammerella fan art piece. See, Sim, Sim is prolific. Yeah, he's everywhere. He is. Uh, and this is the thing I thought was cool because I'm big on jam pieces. I don't yeah. even know all the characters. I just love jam pieces. Yeah, so ditto. Get, lay this, lay lay this one out for us, man. Yeah, this is the Hardline jam piece. Uh, Hardline is a bunch of us uh, creators and artists that hang out Monday nights at 10 p.m. Eastern on Zay Comics channel. So on this piece, uh, you have uh, Sweens who did Oddity and the Ace. You have uh, Simon who did uh, Vincent the Vampire from Blood Hunt. He did uh, the Angel guy right there in the back. That's from Seven Legions, uh, Michael Beacon's book. Uh, the chick down at the bottom there, that's uh, from Cybershock, which he worked. Nope, the next one. Oh, this one here. Yep, that's from Cybershock. Oh, I know yep. who that is. And that's uh, Valeria by Passion for Drawing. And then you have uh, Brandon who did uh, Magic Cop. And then the guy in the shield in the back, and then the giant creature guy, they're both done by Joe Ball. So nice. this is uh, beautiful. All these artists came together, Passion for Drawing did the layout, and then everybody kind of brought their own style and their own to this piece and then it's beautifully colored by Michael Beacon. And the, and you know, the full piece actually has like lettering and kind of a logo and everything. And it's like a great, like sick jam piece. Everybody came together to like really put something together. So we're offering that as a limited uh, poster. I'll probably be running. That's cool, man. Go ahead, John. Yeah. Cool. No, I was just saying that is cool, <laughs> you know? And and I just, I just love it. Cause like I'm looking at all these characters and you know, they're, they're drawn by, uh, you know, a number of them are drawn by the original artist and just having that feel and that flavor together. I'm like, man, that is just hot. Yeah. I, I know, know like I, the, the little, uh, the, 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 the portal thing that, that little, that, that magic cop is doing. I, I yeah. thought that was great. Yeah. <laughs> hey, old Ginger Gingerton. What is up? Thank you for coming back. Uh, Ginger to Gingerton. We are here. Um, and uh, yeah, so this poster, sorry, back to that. I just want to say hi to the chat there for a second. Yeah. But um, this poster is one of those things that like uh, the fan base is going to love. Oh my uh, goodness, yes. <laughs> like this just takes me back to like when when image guys would do a jam piece or even even when I was at Top Cow, we would, people would come up and just want headshot jam pieces, like sketches from all the different artists, you know, and collect things mm, like that. Like okay. people love their jam pieces. Yeah. Um, and like I said, I didn't even, I'm not familiar with all the characters on here because there's so many of these days, but um, this immediately caught my eye as like an awesome collector's item. And I don't mean collector's item like, oh, this would be worth money. It may or may not be, but I just mean collector's item. And like, if you are a collector and you're a fan of any of these guys, this is going to be something you're going to be really stoked to have in your collection. Exactly. Yes. Uh, yes. And yeah. Like, I think, I think I'm only going to offer for like the first 60 days. So it's going to be pretty limited. 
Okay. Holy smokes, what is this? Yes, this is the uh, Angelique trading card by Doodle Bags, uh, colored by a passion for drawing. This has actually been unlocked. It just got unlocked for uh -huh. on backers. So. Oh, heck yeah. Look at that. 3,500 unlocks that. And you're over 3,500 today. Um, we are just over, correct? 3,520 was it? Let's take a look. 3,520. Yeah, I want yes, to get you at least at least three more backers today. Yeah, I got to get to got to get them uh, to the century mark in backers. That's right. Either people watching live or watching later tonight. We get a lot of replays uh, later on. You know, check out this book. It's well priced too. We're gonna go over the perks in just a couple of minutes. But uh, I was scrolling through the page and just saw this for by passion for uh, for drawing and wanted to wanted to show that off. So everybody gets this now. This trading card. Yep, that's been unlocked for all backers. Yeah. Oh, look at that. And what's up next? That I means I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Yeah, you got two backers here, man. Yeah. Both there you go. Thank you, guys. Project. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, these are some uh, 6 a.m. stickers. I was, I was one of the last ones to be able to lock him down before he went back to work on his book. So thank you, Six. You're the man. Nice. Yep, yeah. I have uh, been telling John I'm jealous that everyone got these. 6 a.m. drawings. So I, uh, now I have to ask you because I'm seeing that picture. So, does the bounty hunter are his legs? Did he have legs, and then oh. they were cut off and they're robotic, or him being a shark? Did he have to have legs, <laughs> like though he like he didn't have legs before, but he had like you know you know where I'm going? Yeah, that's a bit of a spoiler. <laughs> okay, okay, don't spoil. Yeah. <laughs> if it's gonna spoil, don't spoil. Yeah. But. I'm gonna find out when I get the book. Yeah, I mean it's it's pretty evident from the anybody who's seen the artwork knows there's a couple of different takes on them. <laughs> so I love that John. I hadn't thought together. of that at all. <laughs> like, let's wait, what's really up with this character? Inquiring minds, man. Oh man, look at that. Um this this 6 a.m. guy, he nails every character I've yeah. seen him draw. Uh unbelievable. And the hits keep rolling from him. Look at that. Yep. I'm going to have to find out what his book is and check out his book. I think that has to become like a staple now in, you know, campaigns. You know, you got to have like some of these little, these little yeah. cool, cute 6 a.m. characters. Yeah. And it's almost like, uh, oh, if you like, I'm looking at campaigns and they, they look so great, like with those stickers. And it's almost like, you know, I see somebody else with like a regular sticker. I'm like, oh. You didn't get 6 a.m. <laughs> <so. laughs> but no, these are so much fun. And then what is this? Good Lord. This is, uh, I call it the Kaiju print by uh, Jim O'Reilly. Uh, colors, again, by the great Theo Gonzalez. You see, like, his range is able to color Donald, uh, Ibai, and then Jim. Mm -hmm. uh, beautiful. This is, like, I guess I'd call this a bit of a peek into the future. Possibly, maybe sometime down the road and uh, yeah so uh it's just a little something for for to, to give us a extra piece of art beautiful like the, yeah. the full thing is even even better like i said once if we get close like once we, if, we, if we're able to get close to maybe to like 4500 i'll start sharing like the full piece Ooh. color so people can see it so, yeah this is you know uh, the indiegogo pay sometimes it makes it a little hard to really kind of you have to yeah. compress stuff so much yeah. And yeah, that but... creature is crazy. Yeah, yeah. And that, that is a good reason to stop fighting each other and start fighting that thing. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, <laughs> a, sick, sick, a sick design, like I was, uh, an idea uh, me and a couple of friends kind of were joking around with. So, so and, and he just kind of, you know, was talking to Jim about it, and he he, he, he was down to do it. So he, he just killed it, man. And then when I saw the when I saw a colored man, I was like, wow, this, all right, I got to get this on the campaign somehow. So we're going to see if we can get it yeah, out of our amazing. comic size print. But yeah, it's a beautiful piece, man. I'd love to yeah. work with Jim in the future some more. I need to find out what Jim is doing. He's a new name to me, I think. So I'm going to be digging in and finding out what more he's up to. Yeah, he's on a book, I think, called Mojo Risen on Kickstarter. Okay, I am uh, familiar with the name. I think it was on open mic one night. Yeah, um, so time to go. And then the last one there that you know, you know, Kamiske has a certain demographic. You know, you know, I believe in giving people what they want. So you know, you gotta <laughs> give them a little sex, a little sex appeal right there, Angelique. You know. And who is this one by? Uh, this is yeah. by uh, PM Antunes. He's a, a up and coming artist. He's got a, he's got kind of like a anime kind of manga style. 
you know, I really like the way he draws women. Like, uh, you know, so I kind of came across him and yeah, so I was able to hook yeah. up with him and come it's up. It's got a with cool, his... like, Seth Man manga vibe, like across, like, East and West. Like, I really dig it. Yeah, it's kind of a little bit inspired by Michael Turner also. Like, ah, I see that. There we go. Yeah, so. And then we've got our usual risks and challenges, but let's, let's head up here and let's take a look at some of your perks. Man, I, I just want to stop and look at these pages again. I love yeah. the look of these pages. Um, his style is very Kevin O'Neill to me. Again, I don't know if that's an artist he would want to be compared to, but I really like Kevin O'Neill, and I think uh, I think that's a decent compliment to, to, to give. Um, but let's look at some of these perks. Uh, I don't know what John got, and I'm, I don't remember what I got. I may have just got the book, but I know I'm gonna want to. I'm gonna want to end up getting the hardline jam piece as well. But uh, let's take a look at this first, the the featured one. What do yep, we got that's here? the uh, that's the comic, the print, and the poster. Uh, so you can get all three of those. Comes with the Mike McMahon Ace print, colored by Sim, the hardline jam piece, yep. and the thirty-two page comic. Um, that's our featured perk, Hardline Jam piece, the Ace book here, uh, 25. Yeah, both of those should have uh, the ability to, to do like a like an add-on for check before checkout. So I tried to like, uh, you know, not everything has an add-on just because it's some, it can make things kind of complicated mm -hmm. than it needs to be. But I tried for like the, the solo teas, I tried to make sure that people can do add-ons and stuff. So. Dude, okay, so these are some great perks. We've got all our add-ons. We've got a comic book plus print for 20. Uh, we've got the comic book digital PDF for 20. If you want to support and you are out of the country, that is the way to do it. Um, it's a good thing to have that on there. Um, I know a lot of people that do both. Uh, sometimes they'll check out something digitally, and then if you keep your campaign open and in demand, they'll go back and back the book. Um, it's always nice to have that option. Yeah. All right, what's this guy here? We need to get uh, this claimed. Yes, that's a, a beautiful uh, colored uh, sketch card by Passion for Drawing. He, he did uh, four of them, I think. Two might be sold out. So I think that's, those are the two remaining. Okay, uh, cool, yeah. We need to get those those moving because that's yeah, like, a great deal. Passion, Passion has cool like color for 30 bucks. Beautiful like uh, colors on these. You know, Definitely if you're a fan of his work, uh, you'll definitely love these. Uh, the first time he's drawing, you know, uh, any of these characters aside from Akula, so it's really come on. Yeah, she looked that. This. That one's you amazing. Know, look yeah, at that. Beautiful. <laughs> Give them what the people want. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, let's see. Oh wait, did John? Did we lose John? We lost John. He's. Let's bring John back. John, welcome back. And I'm back. I'm, I'm sorry. I had the other screen up and it was blocking my stream yard, so I didn't see that you had uh, no. disappeared. I was like. Is he just being like, quiet? It's really quiet. No, I inherited your internet problems for a little bit. Oh, but it's now, contagious. But now I'm back. Yeah, I think that stream yards has kind of been really buggy the last like couple of days. Um, <sighs> and then we've got this here for 40 bucks. This is the way for you and your friends to get it together. Uh, there you, you go. Get two copies, you get two prints. You guys pay shipping for one order. Uh, that's how to do it. We got three claim, three smart bros there, which uh, that actually means that could be six people. I may have to up tier. I think I, I think I just got the books. I wanted to make sure I was I got the book, you know. And I, I don't think I really up tiered yet, but I think I think I need to up tier. There's some cool stuff here, man. Yeah, I'm definitely going to. This is another book uh, like Grave uh, Grave Robbers that I know my brother's gonna like. And my brother, he doesn't go to comic shops. He doesn't pay attention online. He just kind of like asks me all the time. Hey, you got any cool comics? What's new? What's new? Yeah. And uh, I think I think I may have to upgrade on this. Yeah. And uh, and then something I didn't do for my campaign that I am now wishing I had done um, is the original art uh, as a perk. Got one hundred and twenty-five dollars per page. Um, yeah. I just got those you, in uh, a couple of days ago by uh, Canales. Shipped them all the way from Spain. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, those are uh, A4. They're nine by thirteen. Right out okay. of Canales' uh, sketchbook. So <laughs> wow. getting it from the man himself. <laughs> That's fantastic. Um, and I assume he did the whole book uh, traditionally so that the, the whole thing's available, correct? Uh, most pages are available. Uh, awesome. So about like, I put up 10. I think there's might be 14 in total. Okay. Awesome. 
No, oh, that's but, so yeah, cool. At least at 10, I, I was able to look over them. 10 are good to go. Uh, so I'm getting, uh, I just ordered some like slip cases for them. So I can, because I don't like having uh, art or anything around unless it has in a slip case and it's protected. I'm very kind of like neurotic that way. Like all the sketch cards and everything, like I have them all. They're all in cases. They're all away from anything. <laughs> so it's just, uh, you know. But that's the nah. value, I guess, you know, doing it traditional versus digital. I mean, either way, it's awesome. But you definitely, I mean, there's a lot of people that love original art. I'm one of those people too, you know, and so, just being able to have that also to offer is big. Let me see a bunch of other, the, you know, we had three uh, sketch cards by Joe Ball to start the campaign. Those sold out. Another three from Michael Beacon, which sold out. And then we had the Mike McMahon original art, which sold out. So, yeah. Thank you guys, yeah. everybody who supported hey, the campaign. Comics Mate awesome. wants to know if they get to choose, uh, if he gets to choose his page. Yep, you get to first come, first serve, so. Okay. I'm gonna have to start uh, writing down everybody, because I'm trying to avoid checking the page and the stats and everything every day. <laughs> so I try to just chill out and work on different things and not like drive myself nuts. <laughs> you know, like you know, every little metric or everything for the campaign, because uh, that's, Mm -hmm. Now yeah, you can get cool. lost in, yeah, in that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, so I'm trying to just chill out, you know, take it day by day. Like, you know, people have to alert me when they back. They'll be like, oh, awesome, you back. Let me check the campaign now. Aside from that, I try to, I'll do like one checkout in the morning and then one checkout at night. I'm trying to keep it at that. Yeah, otherwise you'll drive yourself nuts. Yeah, it's, 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 it's dangerous. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I ended up not having uh, a tab open with the campaign because I had friends tell me that when they were running campaigns, they would just always have a tab yeah. open and no. go back and check. And I was like, no, I need to, you know, I did that some days, especially the opening days. You, you kind of want to watch it. It's changing. It's moving more rapidly. But then as soon as you go like eight hours without a sale, you feel you're like, oh, oh, well, well, that's the end you of go that. a day without a sale <laughs> and you're like, oh, I got to stop looking. I got to stop looking. <laughs> Um, uh, so I found it was more that, uh, yeah, do, you know, don't be checking constantly. Don't be like, you know, don't be on let for magic, go out and promote and do all that stuff. And then, uh, you know, let it, let the numbers build up on their own. There you go. There you go. Box. Ginger tin. And uh, everybody's saying they saw Padrino on uh, Samedi's show. There we go. Good job, kid. Uh, I'd like to see nice. how Padrino's take on the ace. <laughs> oh, yeah. But I'd like to see a lot of people going crazy again. Are you guys hearing me okay? Yeah. yeah. Did, I, did I pass the bad internet back to you? Is it like, I think are we so. Doing like... Hot potato. Bad internet hot potato. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, definitely. Um, so yeah, let us know if you've backed the ace. Let us know, you know, if you're if you're planning on if you've got questions right now. I mean, we've got the creator right here. Feel free to ask. We've already got Tommy Mark asking some questions and stuff too. Uh, but this is the time. And uh, we want to get them to 100 backers. That's that's my Let's do it. personal goal for you uh, today. Is to get you to. Uh oh. Anything with us? Oops, where we go? We're still at 97. Okay. All right, maybe we should head out before everything goes totally wrong on me. Seriously, oh, man, it's stuff. like uh, it's uh, all imploding on us, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, so, um, hey, Edwin, I want to thank you so much for coming on and promoting this book. I know you've been busy doing that on all the other channels and we threw this at you last minute and then we had technical difficulties. So thank you so much. Yeah, man, it was fun catching up with you guys. Uh, you know, I'll be doing more rounds. You know, this thing, the train doesn't stop until the, the book uh, is ordered and ready to ship. So <laughs> There you go. No, and that's what man, we always say on here. Great looking book, bro. Just because it's funded, that's just the beginning. That's yeah. not the end. That's right. That's, that's just right. the beginning. That's right. That's hell of a chat, yeah. So we are going to be uh, continuing to promote you as well. Whenever we do shows, the links will be down below. If I'm talking All somewhere, right. I'm, I'm going to be promoting you. I love this project. Um, Edwin has been a fantastic 
uh, person in the indie comics community, uh, reaching out to all kinds of people, always being so positive and that's right. Um, just just a little ray of light out there, Edwin. And I can't thank you enough for that as well. You know, it's it's really nice to have positive people that we like to promote. Uh, yeah, man. It's uh, you know, I love uh, supporting uh, creators and making uh, their dreams come true. You know, I backed a bunch of campaigns, and I plan on backing more. You know, once the uh, once the taxes come in, <laughs> <laughs> there there's, you a, go. there's a couple. There's a, there's like a handful that that are outstanding that I know. You know, still have some time to go. I can back, but yeah. Now, and uh, there are all kinds of links below down for my projects, John's projects. I also put a link uh, that I had been meaning to put down below for uh, beyondtimecomics.com, which is John's site where you can read Black Tiger and Magna the Last Pantheon and uh, a couple other things. And we're going to take a look at that next time, John. I had, it, I had it pulled up before all the internet stuff went down. John's site is fantastic, and oh, I thanks, think bro. it's something that we all need to look at in the future for how to promote our books and stuff like that and how to uh, provide a space for our readers to read our books digitally on our platforms. It's really cool. So next time we're going to look at beyondtimecomics.com. There's links for the ACE below, Magna, Hammerella, everything down below, all kinds of upcoming projects that we're going to have guests on. Uh, once again, thank you, John, for joining me as my co-host. Of course. Uh, hey, everybody, back to ACE. That's right. And uh, Edwin, tell everyone where they can find you, and then we'll sign off. Yeah, so you can find me on Twitter at Edwin Aces. You can find me on my YouTube channel, Drawing Aces. I also have a pro wrestling channel called Indie uh, Wrestling Aces, which is close to 6,000. I think I'm like 55 away. So if you guys awesome. like pro wrestling, you know, throw a sub my way. But most importantly, please back the ace if you already backed or you can't back for now please share it out to the world you know if you're on minds facebook instagram wherever you're at and just spread the word the ace is out there you go that's right and uh and let us know if you've backed it or let us know if you've drew, drew fan art or if you've learned about the project yes. from us and tag we'll help me promote you, it yeah you tag any ace. fan art at edwin aces on twitter tag me i'll find you i'll retweet I'm, I'm always love seeing different people's takes on, on the characters. There's, I think there's re three really cool ones that you can do. You know, I think they, you, there's a, a lot of variety in there. So, uh, you know, take your pick and, uh, you know, let's have some fun. That's right. That's and, awesome. Uh, everyone, uh, stay safe out there on the, uh, the high seas of comics. And, <laughs> and until <laughs> next time, uh, I am Ryan Wynn signing off. Peace. You know the tales they told to me, the reaper self went to a sea. And we all go down to the dead man's cove. Yar! Yar!